Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time to revisit some of the plants that we've recently worked on and I want to take you with me. We have three, um, I think these are the Graptocetum ghosties that I had gotten cuttings. They were just in water. I haven't done anything with them. Um, Got to do maintenance on these Echeverias and yeah, and that's about it. So uh, I guess we could start with these guys. It's been a couple of weeks, right? And as you can see, we've got rootage going on. We also have some leaves because it used the moisture in the leaves to survive until it had the roots grown. So I gotta empty out, this is what it looks like underneath. I'm gonna empty out this water and put in some fresh water. And I just use tap water here. I mean, everybody's different. Some people's tap water is not um, good to use. This doesn't seem to have any issues. But yeah, just wanna, before I put this back, cause we're almost done with this one, <laughs> it's real easy. Just wanna make sure I see there are roots starting to sprout up on the top. I don't see any insect pest damage or any white fuzzy mealybugs. So back in you go, and you are done. I, uh, on and off, I've been getting issues with mealybugs and the succulents. Even though they're in water, they are near each other. And if I bring a new plant in that has uh, an infestation, it will quickly travel <laughs> to the other plants that are near it. So this one looks good also. You can see we do have some. There's a lot of roots up there starting to sprout get closer for you guys and you can see these guys down here that's about it i don't see any bugs on these either so let me clean the water because there's some dead leaves some dried leaves in there fresh water what the doctor ordered and use the water all the way up so that I know it's definitely going in. This leaf is gonna be next to fall off, but I'm gonna wait for it to absorb all the moisture it needs. And this one's back. Looking good in the neighborhood. Let's take a look at this one. This one has the least amount of roots, it looks like. But we do have some. You can see that. And I don't see any pests, any mealies. I'm really looking for mealies. That's like the biggest issue I've had here with any of the plants, not just succulents. So, and you know, I was, um, <laughs> I'm a little late to this video because just before, before I started uh, setting up to shoot, I was, doing some maintenance on my other succulents. I'm like, why aren't I doing this on camera? <laughs> I gotta do this to show everybody what's been going on and what you can expect. So this one's good, it's going back in. Um, yeah, so I, uh... <laughs> sorry guys, I missed the boat. Um, and I, there is, I don't know if any of these have, but I did find a couple of mealies. So that's why I have my handy dandy alcohol spray, just in case. Okay, this is one of the older ones. This one's Persia. You guys have seen this for a while. Those roots are covered in algae. You can see that. So I'm gonna clean off the roots, clean the vessel. Uh, let me do that first. Let me clean the roots first. And then, to clean the vessel, we'll take off the dead leaves, check the pests. Once these guys get settled in, we could do this monthly. I pulled off a lot of the roots here because they were very, very green and yucky. But let me just clean up the dust quickly. But yeah, once these are set up, you could do this once a month. It's not like you got to do this every week or anything. I just make sure that there's enough water in there. And it usually is. I increased the level of water for this because I want to have roots start to sprout along this uh, the stem, this trunk. So I'm gonna increase the water 
just because I don't want these to be the only roots. Um, let me take off all these dead leaves under here, as you can see. Now this, because it had very little water in there, it was using its reserves. Yet another reason why I should increase the water level. So these come off very easily, like that. Okay, and now we're all beautiful. Such a pretty plant, look at that. I love that. And I don't see any bugs on this. I don't see any mealybugs or any other pests. Look at that. Oh, you can't see it, there it is. Isn't that pretty? All right. I gotta be more conscious of where the camera's angled so that you guys can see. Sorry about that. All right, next up is this little one. This was a little baby that I had gotten that um, sprouted some nice roots. It was very, very tiny. It was like the size of my thumbnail when I first got it. I think this is a Cristata. It doesn't have the name on it, but this is a Necaveri that has really cool frilly and thick whitish purpley leaves. You can see it in the light. So I'm gonna clean up these roots. There was some algae on them as well. And then we should be good to go with this one. I don't see any bugs on it. There we go. The roots aren't so great. It looks like some of these can be pulled off, but I'm just gonna leave them for now and clean out the vessel. Now, if you don't wanna have this problem with algae, If you don't want to have an algae problem, then um, you have other options. You could either use a darker colored vessel or you can use um, semi-hydro like this nodulosa, which we will get to next. But I like to see the roots, so I don't mind cleaning it out each time. Look at that. This is going to do well or continue to do well. All right, um, let's stick with the water culture for now, and then we'll do the semi-hydro last but not least. So this is a nodulosa. I don't know if you guys remember last time, it had um, some mealybugs in the crown. I treated it with the alcohol. I sprayed it with this alcohol. And the damage is on these older leaves, but the newer leaves you could see are much better. No more buggies. Um, but these leaves are all wilting because the water level is too low. As you can see, the majority of the roots are up here and it's just the very bottom of the roots are in the water. So I'm gonna raise the water. You can see it's it's got all those aerial roots starting to grow there. Sorry, it's so dark guys. This is just what I'm working with today. Um, so let me take this out of here. Look at those roots. That's really cool going crazy see it's looking for uh for water for moisture oh look at that look at that i see more mealies in there whoa all righty these mealies gotta come out gonna kill them with alcohol first let me do a good once over just to make sure that i don't see anything hiding and i should have been spraying this every day or every couple of days um but i haven't because you know me, I'm always doing something. Um, but this should be okay. Look like there were just two big mama um, mealy bugs on here. Uh, where did they go? I think they're in here. Are they in there? Yeah, that was them. They're dead now. Let me just rinse off the roots. <laughs> Man, mealy bugs get into everything. I've had mealybugs on just about every type of plant that, I, that I've that i owned at some point. African violets, um, begonias, aroids, everything. Everything has succumbed to those bugs. All right. Let me just take a look one more time. Yeah, these look okay. 
So I'm gonna put this into the water. There we go. So this one is good. And these will plump up probably within the next day or two because now there's enough water. Okay, now this one, this has a couple of challenges. Okay, first of all, uh, it's in lava rock, okay? And I just watered it. Let me dump out the water in the reservoir because we're gonna be doing something a little different. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna remove these older leaves because they're floppy and they're really not, they're not doing anything for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna remove the older leaves uh, clean up some of these dried up crispy ends and then I'm going to chop the top let it callous over and reroute this one in water and then we'll get some new pups growing out of the sides probably so just to start I'm gonna pull these leaves off um, I don't think many of these can be propagated I can try but this one doesn't have much to sustain itself but I'll leave it out just in case this one here too. This one actually could propagate because it's got enough juice in it. So I'll keep this one as well. This one down here. This one is not going to propagate because you see it wasn't a clean cut. You could see that. Let me, let me go under the light a little bit. Uh, this is horrible. Um, you can see there it's not a clean cut. It kind of broke. So bye bye. That's not going to propagate. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave these guys on because once I chop the top off, I want it to have some leaves to photosynthesize with. So let me just cut off this brown dried area here. Okay, again, I'm sorry about the light on this video. It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> all right, so now I am going to cut this. I'm going to cut right below these smaller leaves. I don't know why they're smaller, but I'm going to cut right here. Okay. And I'm not going to remove these leaves yet, these smaller leaves. I'm going to let them stay to help sustain this while it calluses over. And then these will probably be the first to go because, you know, it's always the bottom, the older leaves that end up dying off. So I'm probably going to remove these when I'm ready to plant this. But look at how pretty that is. I love the color. I don't know if you could see the color up close. It's got the red edging and the red in the middle. This is one of my favorite echeverias. All right, so now this is going to recover, start sprouting, and I'm not gonna, actually, you know what? I'm gonna flush this out because there is a little bit of algae in here, and then I'm gonna leave just a little bit of a reservoir because <clears throat> um, it is gonna need some moisture while it is because it's going to lose some moisture through the cut and everything like that <clears throat> so let me do that like this just a little bit a little bit of a reservoir you can see it there yep okay and then this puppy i'm gonna spray just to make sure not the cut end but the top portion just to make sure there aren't any bugs on here Last thing I want is, because you know what's gonna happen, when echeverias or any type of succulent starts to wilt for any reason, that's when the bugs really take over because the plant is kind of compromised. So it cannot defend itself as well. I'm just gonna spray down the leaves that are here, just lightly. Spray down this one too, might as well, right? Okay, so, so there you have it. We did maintenance on these two. This one as well. This had a lot of um, a lot of dried leaves because it had dried up. And then our ghosties that are starting to root up nicely in their water culture vessel. And again, all of these are in um, south facing window. One thing that I noticed is most of the succulents, most of the echeverias in particular, are nice and compact. This one a little stretchy, but still compact. Nodulosas, for some reason, I think they just grow longer. They stretch out more no matter what. Um, because these are all in the same light, and obviously these guys are staying compact. And these guys, especially this one, is not. <laughs> and I have another echeveria that's in soil, because I wanted to see the difference between the water culture, semi-hydro, and the soil. And of course, the soil one is not doing as well as these two. Um, but 
it's alive. It's not, it's not doing horribly. It's just not as vigorous because it does not have that water available to it all the time. Anyway, if you have any questions on maintenance with water culture, in particular with succulents like I have here, um, just leave me a note and we will discuss. I love talking about this stuff. I always say that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what you waiting for? We have so much fun here, right? A bunch of plant parents hanging out. <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. And I will see you in the next video.